cow box. Seriously. Is that right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> no, but continue now. After you said that you're back, so continue. Uh, what is it? What is it? In Kota and Soro. Urukoeni. 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 That one is a lady. Urukoeni. Urukoeni. Wow. Uruko who love you. Anyhow, welcome. <laughs> welcome to another episode of the Offer Show oh, with. Nice. <laughs> no, no, no. If I'm saying you have to say tus, otherwise known as tools. Welcome. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh gosh, guys. What a week. What a Man. week. But first of all, before we get into what happened over the week, first of all, we have guests, but before yeah, we get into all guests. of that, we just want to say again, quick, quick shout out to our sponsor for this episode, Bookings Africa. If you don't have the app, make sure you download it. It is pretty much africa's biggest gig marketplace mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. you can go over there legitimate yes legitimate, legitimate. you can yeah. go over there to hire people for various things whether you're looking for a makeup artist a model whether you're looking to learn certain things um if you're a client looking for mm-hmm. someone to do certain jobs go over there you can and if you are someone who has talents as well let's say you're an mc you're a singer you're a dancer you're a makeup you're a model artist, you're a hairstylist whatever it is that you do photographer Go over there, load up all the things that you do, samples of your work, and you never know. You could just be making your money from there, all right? Yeah. Uh, just make sure you download the app. Uh, it's Bookings Africa uh, on your app store, whatever devices you use, and uh, get it, bookingsafrica.com. Yeah, and um, I should add, actually, everybody knows that over the last year or so, things have been a bit tight for yeah. a lot of people, yeah. you know, financially. So this is a great way to market yourself, and if maybe you want to, you've you've been you know doing your i don't know thing as a makeup artist and you've got like a small you know um a small customer base Mm -hmm. this is a great way to expand that this is a great way to have people that maybe don't know about you Mm. you know about you Mm -hmm. and one of the things i love about this app is the payment method because i'm sure you've been in a situation where you've done something and you're like pay me my money yeah and you don't get paid on time so this way um the if you're getting hired by somebody they actually pay bookings africa up front yes and as soon as you finish the job the money drops into your account so it is that simple you don't have to be chasing anyone you don't have to go and rough somebody up in the club (laughs) you don't have to go and call someone's family or you know what they do nowadays for anybody you know they will send a text message to everybody (laughs) you know and everything so you don't have to do that so Mm. it's definitely something that um every young entrepreneur um with any sort of you know creative skill or something should be on bookings africa go check it out so um, I've always said that in terms of, you know, scamming people, mm. you can one of like, I'll give you about three or four of the best ways or the best things that you can use to scam people. Um, get money fast, getting a lot of money fast, romance, mm-hmm. um, religion, mm-hmm. weight loss, mm-hmm. weight loss. So we're going to be talking about weight loss today. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we've got two uh, fantastic guests who are going to be telling us about their weight loss journey and how things have changed for them. Um, because just a few weeks ago, a lot of people were talking about, um, well, a lot of people continued talking about Adele's weight loss. Mm-hmm. And some people were very upset that she lost weight. Some people now see her in this completely different light. Um, but everybody, everybody does know that, you know, when you lose weight, when you look different, people will treat you differently. Mm. So we're going to be asking our guests that. So make sure you stick around. I just thought about something. How is it that nobody goes upset when Rihanna put on weight? Remember when she was thick, Rihanna? Yeah. When she was thick, Rihanna. Anyway, but she was thick, thick. Like yeah. she looked like she was, she was like a good 12, UK 12, 14. Wait, but so I liked, I liked Rihanna then because of her attitude. Mm. Like she was just like, I don't give a fuck. And she was doing her, you could tell like the way she was dressing, she still looked good, mm-hmm. but it was almost like she was doing it on her own terms. Mm-hmm. As in, you know what, today I'm going to dress up, I'm going to look nice because I want to. Mm-hmm. And you know, if you're, um, if you're like a pop star that you're under like a lot of pressure and everything. So Scrutiny. I liked it because of where it signified that she was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I like that. Yeah. I like Kirby as well. If I was gay, definitely Kirby chick. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> I can accent <laughs> guys' face. But let's get to our guests because I'm sure they have a lot to share with us. Yes. Our first guest today is Yumi. She's a fashion stylist. She's going to be talking to us about her weight loss journey, um, how it was, how people are treating her now, that she is a... 
Slimmy. <laughs> Lepa. Lepa. Ah, no, no, not even close. Okay. No. Uh-huh. Okay, well. <laughs> I mean, no. so first of all, okay, so you said uh, before we, the camera started rolling, you said that you hit puberty and things just changed. What happened? Um, the love of food. <laughs> just the love of food. <laughs> yeah. Um, I grew up with boys, mm-hmm. and you know, like boys love to eat. Mm-hmm. I'm a very com- competitive person, so you're competing with food. Oh, well, at that time, <laughs> no, because it was like my brothers would be making like four to six in the maze, and I'm like, <sighs> as in four packs. packs. Yeah, and I'm like, you're what? eating four packs of Indomie. In yeah. a in like uh, in a day or in, in a go. No, in a, she man, said in a day. I could make it in so many different ways. <laughs> can you guys? Can you guys eat four packs of Indomie? No. No, I think, but back then it was. You did answer. Tell you, can eat four packs of Indomie. No, no, no. But back <laughs> then, so I'm talking about, I'm talking about 25, 26 years ago. Okay. They were much smaller. Now they make them bigger. Yeah. They were smaller. Yeah. Yeah. So for, I mean, you had to. Yeah. And how, how many eggs? I didn't even think it was egg. So it could be like the Indomie and then it would be like maybe a loaf of bread. Like <laughs> what? what kind of combo what kind was of that? armed robbery eating is that? <laughs> <laughs> like four my... packs of Indomie and then a loaf of bread. Well and now what and then what did you use to step down? Let's put this out because <laughs> you have not even talked about the Coca-Cola with it. So exactly. Well, no. but, 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 but and then the super sized one. Yeah, that's wow. what it's not <laughs> right <laughs> at what point did you realize wow i'm big actually you no know, i was big until um at 16 when i was now living in the states mm-hmm. and um i was in high school and oh, high i never school. felt different until i was in high school and everyone no one wore uniforms mm-hmm. so everyone wore what clothes mm-hmm. And I yeah. was with Spanish girls. So they were wearing booty shorts and all of that. And I could not fit into that. But I still wasn't really aware of how big I was until Christmas. My aunt asked me what I wanted. And I said, oh, bell-bottom jeans were in then. So I was like, oh, I want bell-bottom jeans. And then my aunt came back one day and she's like, oh, I got you bell-bottom jeans. I was like, oh, yeah. She's like, well, I'm going to try it on. And then I looked at the size and it was an American 18. And I was so pissed. I was like, I'm sweet. Why would you buy me an 18? I'm not an 18. She looked at me. She's like, you may try it on. It didn't get off my hips. Oh. So American 18 is a British 16. No. It's a British. Um, no. 22. 22. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So what was your biggest size? Um, I think I was, I think at that at that time I was like a twenty. If I couldn't get into um eighteen, 18. so I think I was a twenty, maybe borderline twenty two. Um, but suffice to say, the next year for prom, I was an American. I wore a size eight American eight dress. How so did yeah. you do it? How did you do it? Um, I joined Bali Total Fitness. I got a job. <laughs> <laughs> I um, so I even though I was big. I was actually very active. Mm -hmm. So I ate a lot, but in high school, I played soccer. I was goalie and I was defense. So I played soccer. So I was one of those big... Active girls. Yes, who it it wasn't really about. And looking at me, though, you wouldn't really see... I I carried it evenly as well. So you, yes, you would see me as a, Mm. you know, as a big kid, but I was a hyper big kid. Mm. So with a lot of energy... So I just put that energy into use. Um, I mean, for that year, I didn't do it a healthy way. I mean, I didn't know what the healthy way was. I was just starving myself and working out. I was going to gym like five times a week and just starving myself. So I lost a lot of weight, but I yo-yoed. I yo-yoed mm. until I had an epiphany at about 25. Mm, okay. I was 25 when I had it just I just woke up one day I think I was surrounded by older people who just kept on saying oh I wish when I was younger I would do it differently and I said to myself well I am younger I don't want to be one of these people mm. so I just started stop drinking sodas um strictly water I don't drink any canned juices everything's everything has to be freshly made and 
my greens, my mm. don't even eat rice, quinoa, substitute. But I don't also deprive myself of things that I crave. Mm. So now I believe a lot in balance. Okay. So work-life balance, you know, exercise. When I'm craving ice cream, I have my ice cream. Mm. When I'm, you know, when but in moderation. So mm. that's the thing. I'm not trying to eat like a bucket of ice cream or six. I don't even eat it in the meal anymore. I didn't like to. But it's still a fantastic brand. Being in the fashion industry, especially now working in Nigeria as a yeah. stylist, um, how do you or do you have any bigger clients on the bigger side and how difficult is it to dress them? Are so, uh, Nigerian designers reluctant to dress? Um, bigger women or I'm just curious okay um well your first question not bigger curvy curvier she's here um but I think I started styling you when I started making clothes okay yeah. or before that when I'd have photo shoots and they were bigger or curvier women mm -hmm. that was the challenge so okay. that was the challenge of having to find things that were in, that was that were as fashionable Okay. Um, because most designers, well, I think it's anyone who wasn't even a sample size. I think that's just the challenge of in Nigeria, just mm -hmm. being a stylist and pulling because most people just do sample sizes. Mm -hmm. They don't even do like, like and fit models. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but we still had like brands who mm -hmm. made um plus size, mm -hmm. and you know we had like tools and Latasha who, and um, sorry, I forget her name. She's gone to the states now. Because right from when I moved to Nigeria, you guys made it, you guys normalized it. Mm -hmm. You were in, you were, were you still, I mean, you were curvy, but you were smaller. Yeah, babies did that. Okay, I didn't mean to bring that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, but um, one, of, one of the things I like about working with um, Yumi is she she just she pushes you. Mm -hmm. So she'll bring something and I'm like, you, the, last, the last shoot that we did, Yumi brought out a see-through skirt mm -hmm. for me. I was like, Yumi, my ass is going to be showing. She's like, no, but you know, and I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. And I wore it. And guess what? You can see my ass. But she was, she pushed me to do something so different. So you wore a skirt where your buttocks were showing. No. But she put a jacket that covered most of that. I know. So no. you still wore it? Yes, I still wore it. But, but it, it wasn't. So it wasn't. Nice. It wasn't like it was iridescent, but yes. it was a little see through. But you would no, never so see anything. All I'm saying is that you did not wear shimmy. You did not wear shimmy. The way the light played yes. off the fabric, the way the light played off the fabric, it wasn't like you could see see like that. You know, I mean. But what you were also seeing was good stuff. Mm. What's not? <laughs> <laughs> you did not wear on that skirt. I want pints. I want pints. Yeah, <laughs> would you say the adults around you um, at that time did they tease you about your weight? Were you teased about your weight at any point in time? Uh, when it came to Trump. boys, um, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just, I, I just want to I let's just, talk about that. <laughs> that's why I'm like you're talking and I'm, I'm triggering you. Oh Lord! Oh sorry. my God! Even like my brother called me piggy. Ah. My, I mean, I was seriously though. It's 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 um the power of words because yeah. I think what I'm also saying with having smaller clients who don't show certain parts of their body, because I'm always asking questions. Why? Mm -hmm. They will tell you, oh, when I was in school, someone made fun of this. Mm. It's, it was the same thing with, mine was home. Like I said, I grew up with boys. So it was the thing where piggies come in. Oh, Yumi's in the house. Her bum is still in the, at the gates. Oh, wow. Like, it, yeah. I hope you're this man. <laughs> 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 like, no, but, but seriously, it's it's um the only person who didn't who didn't um who just said you know leave her when she hits puberty well i think when i hit puberty uh how would you say it <laughs> naturally is when i gain weight but emotionally i, I didn't hit puberty so when i was more aware I'm and i wanted mature. to do something was when i did something about it yeah. and that was my mom mm. So that was my mom. My mom always just said, you know, 
if I got to the point where I wanted to do something about it, I wish she didn't let me get to that point mm-hmm. because, you know, she used to praise us for finishing our food. So it was that was also part of the sport. <laughs> you know, it's like... You ain't all of that. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> competing with my brothers. Her problem was when you didn't finish your food. She didn't like that. So for her, it was kind of take what you can eat. No waste food. No yes. Way. So my wow. kid is like no, this. No takes what they can eat. Yeah. So yeah. Before, so her thing is, oh, you finished your food, you know, and I'm like, and you're there like. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know? so let's talk about when you did when you did like lose weight. Did you have people making comments that maybe you were too small? Did you feel did you same damn brothers? Oh, really? Like, stop! It's too much. You're looking sick. Oh, one of them actually wrote on my Facebook, which I'm so glad that my American friends just didn't even know it was my brother. So they dug at him. He said, "Ah, you me." Please, please, please. You're too skinny. You don't look like your family who's taking care of you. Oh, wow. On Facebook. Mm. My friends. Oh, my Yes. So that was when I was on Facebook. I'm my friends went at him. I actually had to like, send them. I was like, that's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I called him and blasted him. So what do you do now to, you know, keep at, a, at what you consider a healthy weight for you? Oh, what I do now? Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't been running as much. I'm actually at my biggest I've been in years. Um, Big way. No, I am, but I no, but I actually am. Um, at so I would say my biggest in years because I haven't been running. Running usually is my therapy, mm-hmm. but I dance. I I like salsa. Yeah. Um, I just started doing um. So I have an instructor that also comes twice a week for yoga, mm-hmm. and um food just balance i really do like food but i've just found a way to like quality gourmet mm-hmm. healthier options mm-hmm. like um then i drink a shitload of water okay do you drink alcohol no I'm, I'm a very social very very social drinker so like okay. maybe like so you said you said you like food what is that thing that dish that if you saw it you could not say no starch and panka Ah, that's your weakness. That's your kryptonite. <laughs> My mom came like a month or so ago, and she doesn't eat starch, but she knows that it's my thing, and now it's part of the weekly thing. So every Monday is my starch and bank day. <laughs> but again, it's, it's, you're, you're balancing it, so it's not like every day. Yeah, no, no, no yes, yes, yes. And and actually, you know what? Our stuff is actually very organic, mm-hmm. you know. So it's not. So I think I think um, the banga is natural, mm-hmm. and it's. I think it grows here naturally, mm-hmm. so it's not something that mm-hmm. unless you're literally drinking maybe six bowls of it yeah. and stuff, and then starch is super light. Mm-hmm. So so it's the meat that gets me actually. Yeah. Meat, meat is good. Meat is protein. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, in moderation, like she moderation, said. Moderation. Moderation. Unless they're small pieces. Unless they're small pieces. If that's all you're having, you cannot have five and then have like your small. And then small And then you step down with what? Soft drink. Thank you so much for stopping thank by, you, you me. Um, thank you for sharing part of your journey. But I'm, I have a feeling that there's a lot more to talk I know, about. There's so much. <laughs> I, I actually forget things. It's when you guys ask certain questions, like, "Oh, wow," because I compartmentalize, I guess. So, a lot of stuff. Yeah, because yeah. it's the only way I can function. So I'm like, "Wow, wow. I did that." Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank yes. you once again. Best thank of luck you. with everything. Thank you. It was we... fun. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, thank you once again to Yumi for stopping by. Uh, lots of interesting things we found out about her. Huh. All right. So up next, we have got the viral video of the week. Um, the events of the past few hours has been very traumatizing for me. And I just came on here to apologize to Mrs. Messi Johnson Okuji. I was misinformed and I didn't have first hand information of everything. I believed what I saw over what must have transpired before ever I got there. So and I based my judgments based on that. And I'm very sorry for whatever 
issues I have make I may have caused her family and whatever whatever trauma I must have caused them throughout the whole of today. I really hope she finds it in her heart to forgive me and I've been receiving several death threats. I've been receiving several death threats in the past hours and it has been very disturbing for me and i just came on here to say i'm sorry and this is something that pissed me off generally i don't get involved with these things as in i might i mean i might talk to you know friends about it but i don't usually go on you know social media and support so this is what happened right uh, mercy johnson she'd been talking about she, she um, posted about her daughter being bullied at a school she was quite upset about it you know me anything if it has to do with upsetting Babies. my child or some or upsetting you know someone's child i already start getting my mm -hmm. blood starts getting hot so um miss johnson talked about you know how a teacher was um bullying her daughter her daughter didn't want to go to school anymore her daughter was crying and everything mm -hmm. and you know i saw that and i was i was about to do the school run so i was just like i wore my clothes and i was just like i don't i don't i mean you know nobody was bullying my son by the way <laughs> but i was already getting hot and i was like you know what where I cannot display for more, so they won't even try it. Do you understand? Um, so I was already upset when you know I read that. Then this crazy woman now comes and she basically accuses Mercy of lying about the whole thing. That Mercy was in fact the one that came to bully, you know, the whole school, that her and her husband brought thugs and blah 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 blah. And in my opinion, Mercy Johnson is perhaps one of the like most unproblematic she's nollywood, nollywood. do you I understand mean, yeah in the last few years all she's been doing is like being having housewives babies. having babies looking after her kids and i'm i don't know her like we're not best friends or whatever um but nobody's actually i've never heard a bad story about mercy johnson yeah i've never heard a you know a bad story about her so when this person came out saying this i was like huh and then mercy ended up going to the school she's not one of those celebs that does stuff for clout Mm. she doesn't she does not do that for clout so she went to the school and she was basically like did i bring people to threaten anyone the head teacher was there somebody else was like no did i do this no so this person i don't know where they got their information from um but in her rant she talked about she mentioned the school's name when mercy posted she didn't mention the school's name so this woman that was like ranting and raving not only did she mention the school's name she also mentioned two other celebrities that had kids in that school why why did why did she why did she need to do which that? is which is a security risk yes. it, it is a massive security risk so then you find out that this person was literally talking out of her ass mm -hmm. and then she now came to apologize like oh i've been receiving death threats please you guys you know consider my mental health and everything i was like did you consider mercy's mental health so i was i saw that and my blood just i was like you know what i actually sent mercy a message i'm like you need to sue her because too often we have things like this happen. Somebody knows better. They do some stupid shit because mm. they want to, mm. I don't know, gain popularity on social media or whatever. And then they'll come out with some half-baked apology. Mm. And then people are like, temper mercy with justice, temper mercy with justice. That bullshit. I hate that freaking phrase. Nigeria has made me hate that phrase. So I know I'm venting, but honestly, yes, I told mercy, I was like, sue her. You need to sue her. We'll follow you to court. If it's before like 10 o'clock, I can make it. If it's after 4 o'clock, I can make it. We'll have a show be. We'll bring snacks. Who needs a show for court though? Just, just to show our solidarity. You know, but but can you but do you not see that this happens all too often where somebody does something and then people be like, oh, show mercy, show mercy. That's why a freaking downfall driver can bash your car. Mm. They know better. They made a reckless move. Yeah. They bash your car. They've they've um damaged your car. Then all of a sudden they start begging and people start begging. Yeah, you. people start saying, oh, forgive him. Ah, you know, ah, this and that. You know. I, so I do you still believe that she should be sued? Yes. I don't think she should be sued to, so Mercy can collect money from her. I think she should be sued so she so she can be made um, into a scapegoat. Yeah. Because too often people think that um, celebrities are easy targets. And you know there's this mentality of, um, oh, you know, m m like this celebrity is, is trying to, um, what's it called, be mean to a regular person or whatever. There's this weird relationship with celebrities um, in this country where sometimes people kind of, you know, are they're obsessed with them. But then they also kind of feel like they need to be brought down a peg or two. Mm -hmm. Even the ones that haven't had any sort of issues. Just the fact that you're a well-known figure, you're a public figure, you're a celebrity. Some people just have issues with you because of that. So I think she should be sued because, um, because of the stupid things that she said. 
because she um she's created a, a security risk for the people, the celebrities, other celebrities that have kids in that school. Mm. They have been keeping it quiet, I imagine. Mm. And all of a sudden, somebody just come out there. Everybody and now knows person, that this person's child goes, that that person's child goes, Do you understand? goes there, and, and I don't, all of that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I was, I was very upset. And anything to do with children just gets me riled up because, I mean, they're innocent children. I know. You don't really, hey, God, let, let somebody try that with my child. The minute, hey, the minute my child comes back crying because a teacher did this, man, I can't, I've told you about the few times that I've, I almost had to fight like a kid on the playground because they pushed my son. I don't care if you're five. I don't care. We can do this. Do you do you know? Do you guys know how long I prayed and fasted for that boy? For that boy, you now push my child because of my real fasted. What is it? Wow. (laughs) You know what? It's a doggy dog work, man. Even five year olds gotta learn. It's true. Have you calmed down? I mean, it's, uh, it's, okay. it's, it's you know, I mean, we still have a guest. To talk yes, to. yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we have our second guest who's going to be talking about their weight loss journey. We'll be speaking to you, real, in just a few moments. Okay, our next guest is uh, obviously a very, very familiar face. We've got to know her and her famous diary sessions during her season of Big Brother. It was very, very interesting to watch her diary sessions. We've got Uriel in the house. Mm-hmm. And now Uriel is doing so many things. You've got Uriel London wigs. And then you're doing this. I think, if, if correct me if I'm wrong, it's like fit, fitness, like more like healthy meals. Mm-hmm. Food plans, yeah. Food you plans, food, yeah. exactly. Okay. So first of all, I have to say, it's not like you were big, big, okay, like, I don't want to get into your business. You were curvy. 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 You were curvy. She was curvy. She was curvy. I was a sixteen. UK sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then 16. I noticed one day. Um, I was just like, wait a second. Hold on. She looks smaller. What's happening? And then, I, in fact, I was like, okay, we need to talk to her. Um, what happened? And what size are you now? I'm a twelve. But, okay. Um, I think I'm borderline ten, twelve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's so it's and I, Mew, I don't consider a sixteen mm. big per se. Um, but so what happened? What's um, brought on the should I say the lifestyle change? Sixteen, I, I would say sixteen is not big, but when you go to certain shops in um I would mention set the shop <laughs> <laughs> and what? you can't find jeans, like what? sixteen jeans, you, you are designers, designers well. you are big. Um what happened? Oh, God, a lot of things. Number one, health. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I had a very terrible health scare. Mm-hmm. And, of course, like I always talk about my mom and everything. And um, part of the reason she is why she is is because of, you know, she didn't take care of herself. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to go down that same route. And then I had my own health issues. Like I had um, ovarian cysts. Mm-hmm. Um, I went into depression. Um, I just lost confidence in myself, you know, and I just didn't really care about anything. And it was affecting me, my breathing. I just didn't feel healthy. I really did not feel healthy. Although, like, I worked with a lot of brands and I was the plus size ambassador, you know, I was there doing the photo shoots. But truly inside, I did not feel healthy. Mm -hmm. I would go home feeling I was always bloated. Mm -hmm. I had, I stopped seeing my, I I didn't see my period for um, four and a half years. Oh my gosh! Yep, I it, it was that bad. I did not see my period for four and a half years. So do you? Do, it, was that attributed to your weight? Everything. Yeah. You know, we oh. always curse when your period comes, but <laughs> nothing scary. But what you really wanted to come in. Then, so come. were you afraid that were you pregnant? Were you like? Wh- it, it, what was the cause? The it, it was. It was. It was the cyst, and I was overweight. I was told, you know, I went back to the UK, and I was told, you know, I, you had to lose. My doctor was like, you have to lose weight. You have to lose weight. Um, um, my hormones were everywhere. It was, it was just a mazza. It was madness. It was just, it was horrible. You just imagine not seeing your period for four years. I, I actually came to terms. This is so crazy. I actually came to terms. Um, I said to myself, you know, I made peace and I said to myself, I would never have children and I'm fine with that. I have my niece and I would kind of take her as my child. And I came to, I came to peace with that, hmm. you know, Four years, I would, towards the ending of the, you know, of the four years, I would wear pads and I wanted my period so badly. I would, I remember going to, going to the supermarket and I would buy pads and I would put the pads there and I would just pray and I was like, God, please let me see my period. Let me see my period. And it never came. Oh, it wow. never came until 
I you just, lost, yeah, I just started. I started changing one or two things and mm. that's how it came back. What did you do? Um, I think, I think it started, with, it started with, um, number one, realizing that I had, I, I had, um, an issue. I had a problem and my problem came from food. I'm, I'm the kind of person, you know, 2 a.m. in the morning, like if, see, I don't buy junk food because <laughs> if I have junk food in my house, if I had junk food in my, in my house, 2, 3 a.m. in the morning, my body will be scratching me. I know it's there. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's there. So even if I'm, even if it's 3 a.m., I know it's there. I'll be rolling on my bed, rolling on my bed until I just get up. Like, I must finish that. Do you know, I must finish that. You know, like the whole box of plantain chips, I will finish it in, in one night. I would bread was my weakness, mm -hmm. chocolates. So I, 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 so you, I, I you didn't have binge. a stop button. You yes. Binge. I did not have a stop button. Okay. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a stop button. Um, so um, how I made the changes, I just, I just cut out um, certain foods. I stopped eating rice. Mm -hmm. I stopped eating bread. Why you special ah, these ah, things ah, that ah, I rice. like? It's like, oh. what's going on? Maybe it's like, why rice, man? <laughs> rice. Even basmati. Ah, I stopped But they that said one. that asmatic rice is healthy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I thought it was okay. brown rice. Brown rice tastes like cardboard. It, just, it, it does. Just, it has yeah. this earthy kind of kind of taste. Mm. But I stopped eating rice. I stopped eating bread and um, fizzy drinks. Crazy. Even or fada. <laughs> Even or fada. No or fada. <laughs> fizzy, fizzy drinks are fine. I can do without fizzy drinks. You don't even yeah. really have fizzy drinks in my house. When you say yeah, bread, like but like warm agigi bread, yeah. as nothing. The, you know the and the the, bo Hot. the butter is just melting. Uh, let it melt. And it's just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you and, and you press it like this and it just what did you replace these things with <laughs> <laughs> um so i replaced rice with um burglar wheat so okay. it's like it's grainy it's whole wheat and it's quite chewy and <laughs> no it's really nice <laughs> 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 oh my god i hate when people that eat this stuff say it's really nice it's yeah. no because do you know what it feels done. like do you know no, what it feels it's like it's like, it's like no it's like it's like when when you have somebody that's vegan and they're like oh it's not chicken but it's you know so and, it's I and i'm just like, like, like i want chicken. chicken i usually eat i want chicken pasta. And then, like a few no. years ago, I had normal pasta, and I was like, oh. <laughs> the, first, been <laughs> "The first, the first time I made, I made cauliflower pasta at home, and Tunde was like, Tunde the pasta, and he was next time you make that, <laughs> just let me know so I won't go anywhere near it. I'm like, it's good, and it just tastes like. Let's just be honest, right? It's different. Like, you know." It's different. I've accepted I've accepted that I'm probably going to be I might like you know a size or two down but I don't think I'm going to ever like be you know skinny skinny because you can't you can't tell me to eat what's it called bongla wheat bongla wheat. wheat you can't tell me to eat that and not have rice or what's your substitute for bread I make my own bread oh, you make your own bread I'm gonna it doesn't taste nice <laughs> 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 and you're there. Are you telling me? Oh, okay. I use oat to make my own bread. It's dry, but when you put the egg or the egg white inside the omelet, and you put your pepper, it's okay. Close your eyes it, and you. But does it, does, it, does it not just taste like suffering? It doesn't. It doesn't. When I look at myself, I'm sorry to say this, but when I look at myself, yeah, like I'm naked. naked. I, 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 look <laughs> I look good. Okay, 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 yes. okay. Fair okay. enough, fair enough. Okay. And what about um working out? Do you work out a lot now, or mm. do you not really work out? I hate working out. Mm. Okay, I hate working out. You know, you see my list fronts. I can't be sweating every day. <laughs> Everything will be lifting, but uh, I do have a treadmill at home. Mm. I do have a treadmill at home, which I use um once every two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I'm trying to do better. Mm. I'm trying to, but you, but you know, like your diet is it's the main thing. Is the main thing. Yeah, it is definitely is. Because you have some people that work out mm. and they don't, they don't lose yeah. weight. Yeah. Yep. No, I've, I've I've read that diet is like eighty percent of it. Yeah. And then working out is twenty because I know people that have like literally not stepped in the, into the gym. Yeah. And they've managed to like lose you know a lot of weight. So much. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So what are the um you said that you you would binge which other bad habits did you get rid of? Um were you drinking? Yeah, wine. Okay. Um, that one I miss wine. Wine oh, I was drink anymore? I do, but I don't like we are we're drinking substitutes now. No, like, no, 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 no. I drink wine. Like I have wine at home, but no. I would drink wine Vulgar every wine or something. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, uh, so I would drink wine every night. So now I would um, treat myself to a glass of yes, I yeah. Because like, remember, like, I, was, I was bigger, Liverpool. I was depressed. Okay. I was no, depressed. A, a glass or a bottle. A bottle. It's okay. It's a no judgment. A bottle. Girl. No, no a bottle. Judgment. I think my brothers would be watching it. <laughs> no, but you but, don't do it anymore. Okay, so half a half a bottle mm-hmm. of wine every day. Yeah. Okay. And so now I would treat myself to a glass of wine a week. Okay. Red wine. And um, you, you have to adjust. You have to be mentally ready. If you, yeah. you know, when you want to lose weight, it's not about, yeah, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to have salad today. I'm going to have chicken today. It's a mental thing. Mm-hmm. It has to be a lifestyle. Okay. So how do you, like when you go grocery shopping and you see all the good stuff. Oh, the chocolate. How do you ignore it? I buy all the good stuff. Yeah. Yes, now nah, I buy spinach. No, 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 no. I buy the good, good stuff like, <laughs> like rice, rice. I buy sp- uh, lettuce, tomato. <laughs> see, I like salads. That's not a problem. <laughs> you see, but I like other things too. Yeah. You I know, I like chocolates. I like ice cream. I, I like know. fries. I like I chicken. I like I eggs. I like, you know, I like everything. You know? You can still have them. Mm-hmm. So you but can still know. have chocolate. Like, I, I do a lot of dark, I do dark chocolate. Or if I want to treat myself, <laughs> <laughs> tastes like sorrow and disaster. Why? Why? Like, when we say it tastes like sorrow. Like okay. Sorrow. So the thing is, you can still have, like, I, I love um, Snicker bars, right? I love yes, I love Snicker bars. So if mm-hmm. I want to treat myself, okay, mm-hmm. I would have a treat once a week. I would have a treat once a week. What if you've had what if you've had your treat, like say on Tuesday, and then you've had like a really, really rubbish Wednesday and you you come home and you're depressed and you're sad, maybe somebody has pissed you off at work or whatever, and you know, you need a bit of a pick me up. What have do you sex. do? Oh, okay. What yeah, if you're your, what if you're the only one at home? Sorry. Ah, uh-uh. uh-uh. wait, this conversation went left. Very, 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 If you haven't, if you haven't, she said, said, if you've had a rubbish day and you need a treat, mm-hmm. and she's like, you know, but you already had your weekly treat on Tuesday and it's already Thursday. And then I said, well, I've said, you shall we'll lose like, small weight. Yeah, yeah, true. yeah. She said, okay, what if your partner is not around? Then, Toy, it shall give you some pleasure. Yeah. You know? I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay, as you were saying. I have to ask you this though. Yeah. Um, as at the time that you were a UK sixteen, mm-hmm. were there people who were telling you that you were too big? Or as someone and the reason why I even wanted you here is because you're in the public eye. Mm-hmm. So you go through the same struggle that we go through. Yeah. There are events to go to, red mm-hmm. carpets, photo shoots, XYZ. You're looking for something to wear. How did all that affect you? It, it, it's um i mean they wouldn't say it directly to my face but you see the looks see i get a lot of dms and i get a lot of people from abusing me about my boobs like i have a thing about my breast i don't like my breasts i think they're because you know since i started growing breasts they never grew this way they grew that way okay yeah, they grew down so but they're still nice but i just don't like them <laughs> <laughs> i don't like my breasts so i get a lot of crazy dms oh you will oh, this your hips like people i, I don't understand why I was like, your followers, why do you think it's okay to come to your DM and tell you, oh, your hips, you're getting to this, or you're getting, and I try to ignore it, even if I post a picture, you will see a couple of comments there, and even though you say, oh, oh, you know, it doesn't affect me, or you try to brush it off, one day, one day, yeah. it will enter. If you're having a rough day, yeah, and it you will, see that comment, thank yeah. you, you will remember it. So, um, I didn't have anyone, like, in the industry directly telling me, oh, you're, you're big, but you would look at you know, um, you, you can feel, you can, you can feel right. You can feel it. And, um, certain brands wouldn't want to work with you. So, I don't know. I don't want to get myself into trouble. Please. I don't well, to girl, talk it I, I don't, well, it's just certain brands wouldn't want to, wouldn't want to work with you. And of course, certain style, certain people wouldn't want to style you. Oh, so you've approached stylists who have kind of. Yes. Yeah. That happens yes. to me actually. Yes. yes. And so what, what, what would they say? They wouldn't say anything, but you would just feel it. I mean, you know, they have their way of saying, I don't want to work with you without without saying, I don't want to work you. with you. Yeah, they would just you. you. I remember a stylist telling me a few years ago, she said, well, I've never worked with anybody of your size. And I was like, my size? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a US 10, UK 14, my size, excuse you? And I was like, okay. But I mean, she still works with me, but it was, it was I could feel like it was a struggle. Mm. For her, because she was used to dressing all these slim actresses, yes, and exactly. we're African. 
we're African. Yeah. It's just that just doesn't even like I think because when I work with sides, I kind of look at what they've done before. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, if I don't see like diversity, like when I look when I'm looking on your page, I don't go for you. I don't yeah. I don't even like contact yeah. you because I'm like it's probably gonna be a waste of my time. Mm-hmm. So I look at the different people that you've worked with. If you literally just only style like, you know, celebs and you don't have like different kind of people i just don't i'm just like no i I, know it depends on i I feel like if you if you style a certain aesthetic of like or even makeup artists there's some makeup artists that only can do you can see on light skin skin, i'm just like uh -uh, straight up this person is going to make me look like a ghost Mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's what i think and and even if they give you like um an outfit they will give you Something very baggy, something that you like just a, wear. Like you feel a, like a potato. A <laughs> yeah, you look like, 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 like oh yeah, snappy so, toy. You yeah, just no. Yeah. So, nah. so let's talk about. Um, so this happened um, recently. Um, obviously Adele, she lost like a lot of weight, yeah. and some people were very very upset with her. And I remember um, this is a few weeks back. Uh, somebody had commented on your page, yeah. and they tagged me. And they, um, so they, they mentioned me, they oh, mentioned wow. me in that comment and they were like, oh, something, something, you look at Euro, she's lost so much weight now. She used to be team plus size. You know, there's so many people are, oh, if Tools loses weight now, we're not going to like, so basically kind of saying that if I, if what I lose, you? Yeah. if I lose like a lot of weight now, they're, they're not going to like mess with me and everything. So you yeah, the mascots like, for... Do you understand? <laughs> I was like, so do you have people that seem to be upset with you oh, now that you've God. lost weight? It's so funny you said that. This was like uh, a few, a few weeks ago. Somebody said, Urel, I'm going to unfollow you. You're a disgrace. You used to rep. Pl- I'm yeah, telling you. Yes. And it was so... Did you just say, why are people horrible. angry? Why do you have to... I don't uh, understand that. You used that. to rep plus size. And now this, you look sick. You look this, you look that. I'm going to unfollow you. Bye. Did you say bye, bitch? I just left it. I, just, I didn't say anything. But there are some people, they're really upset. They're really upset. Why? If I post a picture, mm, you look sick. Your neck is getting too long. I don't like... But then, thank God, I I made a post um, recently and I said, I didn't lose weight because I wanted to be skinny. I lost weight because I had health issues. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And I had to drop a few habits. And when I dropped those habits, I became the size. Mm. So I'm not going to be unhealthy for you. And I put that out there. So since I said that, you know, a few blogs carried it, people, they've kind of laid off my bag, but... There's nothing. I'm, I'm still trying to lose weight. My my goal is a size eight. Okay. So once I get to a size eight, I'm fine. But you know, I'm doing it because I want to be healthy. Mm. I, I look at my mom every day, and I'm like, yeah. yo, I don't want to be like this. I don't want to have a stroke. I don't want to g- live like this. You know, like there's no quality of life, and I could go down that way if I didn't make this. The, the, I don't want to be diabetic. I don't want to have all the. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. So it let me start health. now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the whole thing about Adele and losing weight and some women getting upset. I read this article where this lady said, you know, that she understands why some women would feel bad that Adele has lost weight mm. and quote unquote left them because they felt like in an industry as vain as the entertainment industry where, you know, you have to look like 10 over 10 all the time. But someone like Adele to just all of a sudden get to that level. It's not like her success was mid. It was proper yeah, like you know, they felt people. like wow somebody like me who looks like me can actually get there and be admired and have millions of fans all over the world and blah 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 and stuff at the same time i understand it but you also have to realize people are their own persons I and just because somebody is in the public eye does not mean that they have to live their lives for you we don't know the reason mm. why adele model, lost weight mm. Or whatever, but whatever. I think she looks great. She yeah. looks amazing. The she latest Vogue uh, spread mm-hmm. that she did, she looked really, really good. Now, the person did say, it's not just her size. You also remember that facially, Adele is very, very, very good looking. Mm-hmm. So, uh, she fits that... Um, what's the word that she she actually used the word as a um, what big girls with pretty, pretty faces? Or no, what? no, no. She said have she's um very something attractive, somethingly attractive. Um, I, I can't remember. When I remember, I'll say it. But she just pointed out also that her face also helped out. That so don't just think it was just because of the weight. But I I do believe that Adele did some like surgery as well. Why well, it could be fillers? Yeah. No, I think I definitely. But but my thing is, I think the older I'm getting. And the more I'm realizing that, okay, you know what? 
we're only on this planet for a limited amount of time. Mm-hmm. I'm like, do whatever you want to do. So sure. I'm plus size. Mm-hmm. And, you know, somebody like Adele, you're like, oh, she's plus size. She's doing so well, blah, blah, blah. So you kind of look at her and you kind of feel like we have, you know, yeah. this. I, I like we understand each other on a certain level. But having said that, if she, whoever is at a certain size or whatever, if they kind of say, you know what? I want to, I want to do things differently. Maybe they found a great hobby. Maybe they're kind of just like Uriel said, Mm. she's like, look, I just, you know, for health issues and everything, I just want to like, you know, be, um, be smaller, have healthier habits and everything. I don't think that person should not do that because of their following straight because, oh my gosh, people are are not going to follow me. I'm not going to have the love of the plus size, Mm. you know, audience Mm. do, do you, do Mm. you do what makes you happy. Now let's talk about men Mm. and relationships. So what changed? Mm. A lot, a lot has changed. Yeah. Mm. Okay. More DMs, fewer DMs. Um, quality I, I, of guys. Hey, I've been on a lot more dates. I can't even lie. Mm-hmm. And I'm enjoying. Do you know? I I posted something on my, on my, on my WhatsApp story, and I was like, I'm living my best life right now. <laughs> I'm living my best life. When I was bigger, it, it wasn't that I wasn't getting approached, but I just I wasn't going out. I just didn't feel com. I just I just didn't feel confident. Okay, and even if I wore something and somebody would be like, "Oh, you look nice," I didn't feel you didn't believe good. It. I didn't believe it. Now it's the attention because obviously, like I'm dressing up, I feel more confident, and it's different. It's totally different. The attention is totally different. I'm living my best life. That's all I can say. Shah. So do you yeah. think? <laughs> do you think? Do you think this the the attention that you're getting? Do you think? it's really down to you looking different or you feeling and putting yourself out in a certain way. Good point. Right. Both. Okay. Both. I, I think, I think, um, I have this aura now, like I'm confident. I can, I, I put on an outfit. Um, I'm, I'm not afraid to, to wear certain things. Like I have this thing like my stump, even till now, I feel like I need to work on here, but then I, I wouldn't, even if I wore something and I had a waist trainer on, like I would just feel, I just didn't feel right. So I think it's a bit of both. It's a bit of both. Definitely a bit of both. Yeah. 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 What advice do you have for people who are struggling with weight, weight loss, etc.? I would say for me, I would say, you know, make changes because you want to make changes. You know, mm-hmm. make changes because you want to make changes. And, um, you know, when you commence on your journey, it's not going to be smooth sailing. It's not because there's been, there's been times where I'm doing so well, like for a whole week, I'm eating healthy. And then at 1am and then I'm waking up <laughs> 1am. I'm like, where is that plantain cheese? Where is that chocolate? I know there's, I know there's something somewhere, you know, and you're opening the cupboard and you're looking for something to, to chew on. Yeah. Sometimes you might relapse. Sometimes you might pick up something. You might eat something that you're not supposed to eat. But the thing, what I would tell you is just to pick yourself back up and just keep going. Just mm-hmm. keep going. Um, you're not going to, because I have a lot of people that subscribe to my meal plans and they're like, oh, you well, I love your new way. I want to lose 20 kg in 10 days. I'm like, ah, no, I'm not selling my GK <laughs> You know, like, but you, you have to be realistic. And it is a process. It will take time. It will take time. And allow it, enjoy, it. allow it to take time. Allow it to become a lifestyle, you know? When you do something and it's quick, 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 you will put the weight back on yeah. quick, quick, quick. And then are there people that, weren't really trying to mess with you, with you before that are now like, hey, you're real in your DMs. How you do? They want to work with you like hey, brands. Hey, hey, brands hey. that you, you knew for a fact they weren't really checking for you before. Now they're like, hey, we'd love to work with you or stylists even. Okay, so there's this particular brand. I won't mention the name. Feel free to. No. Ah, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, I, I, I want to to style me. Yes, I won't mention the name. But um, uh, there's this particular brand and... I remember I did send a DM a while back. I'm so embarrassed. I did send a DM a while back. And obviously, I know... You should show shots. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I I know it was seen or whatever, but nothing happened. And I posted a picture. It was so... I posted a picture. I went to one um, awards and I wore this green outfit and I had green hair and I was cinched. They sent me a DM back. Oh, please, or anytime you have an event, we'll like to style you, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, my, my reply was, okay. When Good. did you, when did you send that first DM and when did they res- oh, finally respond? This was like 2018. Wow. Oh wow! <laughs> 2018 <laughs> and now it's 2021. They now that you see that, me. that she's hotter because yeah. the dress went viral. The dress they were busy. Viral. <laughs> You're they were like, oh, "I'm going to work with you." Blah 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 blah. And I just said, "Okay." That was it. That was it. So will you work with them? 
Yes, they have nice dresses. They have nice dresses. I work with them. But I told you right now, I'm, I, I keep saying, I'm living my best life. My DM is on fire. You know, there's some guys that you're like, ah, they, they, I, I think you're me, pretty. I, I think I love you. Like, my DM right now is it's, it's but, a good place to be, you know? But do you feel, do you feel, um, Very nice. do you feel some type of way towards these kind of people? Because they're just looking at you from the outside and, and, I mean, for me, I feel like you had the same personality before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and now all of a sudden you look different and they're like, oh, I want to I wanna be friends with you. I want to do this. And, you know, do you kind of look at them like they're shallow or something? No, it's because you're you're attracted to what you're attracted to. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so you see me and maybe you see me bigger and oh, she's pretty, but ugh, she's a bit too big for me. Okay, she's still pretty. Now she's my size. So whatever you're attracted to, you're attracted to. Like, I, I'm the kind of person that's like, just do you mm. feel free do you I, I i think life is too short to be uh you know to be pointing fingers if you like me now you like me now uh, me i'm so single now i'm looking for picking i'm looking for husband so yeah. let's go <laughs> let's go so um yeah i'm i'm, I'm very open-minded i'm very open-minded. all right Thank okay you. um lastly um obviously you get to pitch yourself and everything so your meal plans okay yeah. how do people get in touch with you how do i get for free <laughs> yeah, I can if you want it. But don't give me no. But it's hard. I'm not going to lie to you. It's don't hard. give me no bug a week. But do you know? Do you know? <laughs> you, in in ten days, you can literally lose five kg or more. And mm, you will is eat. That, is that with or without a doctor? Without. Okay. But you will eat it. I'm, I'm not putting you on anything crazy. But it's just food and how you mix the ingredients and what you eat. Trust. I'll send. I'll I'll, I'll send you Thank guys. You. Some, you know. Okay. Okay. okay so mm. um, you can reach me on at you lost food. Um, you can send me a DM. There's a phone number on the page. So if you're interested in getting a meal plan, hit me up. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so so Thank much you. for coming. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Quite interesting. I know. And we're gonna get the um, details, like names and things after this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I just want to say a big thank you to our guests uh, for stopping by today. They both had like different experiences. Um, so whatever it is that you want to um, adjust in your lifestyle and your, whatever it is you're trying to do, just make sure you're doing it for you. I think that was one of the main things that um, they actually uh, highlighted today. Both of them lost weight for different reasons. One didn't realize she was that big. Mm -hmm. One did it because, you know, she watched her mom go through all sorts of health issues. Uh, so whatever it is you're trying to do don't do it for anybody do it for yeah. yourself if you want to do it if you want to as well. and whatever size you are at if you're happy with your size good for you have you had have you had like a um an interesting battle with weight loss no i've not had an any battle per se um i know i used to work out a lot um i've kind of slowed down on that but i think i'll start again i know that they always say that food is the main the main thing but i notice that when i work out the weight comes up fast regardless of what i'm eating obviously i won't also want to spoil what i'm doing so I, i'm kind of a little bit more conscious of um what i'm eating but i've never stopped like eating rice so i don't know if that's whatever what <laughs> I, the, the craziest okay. thing, the craziest thing I've, I've done, and this is because like growing up, um, my siblings looked different. My siblings were like, you know, taller, long limbed. And I was like <laughs> the shorter squat one. So from a young age, I've kind of felt like, okay, I need to kind of like, you know, look like them a little bit more. So, um, I have done, what's the craziest thing I've done? Um, I tried the Cambridge diet for mm. like three days mm -mm. cause that one, I, the headache was just, mm -mm. and the smoothies, it just tastes like, it just tasted like talcum powder and water. Mm -mm. So my thing is I like good food. Good food is made for everybody. Do you understand? Um, but at the same time, I noticed like a massive change, like after having children, mm -hmm. like I've always kind of been like, oh, my waist, my waist, my waist. I've always like loved how like, you know, my waist was always like this. And then babies came and then my waist was like, we're going to just, I'm going to stay at this right now. And I'm like, no. So um, I don't know. I've decided, I've, I might decide to, you know, go ahead and get my tummy tuck after I finish having babies. Mm -hmm. I think. You're not done. Hmm? <laughs> I feel like Mother Abraham. <laughs> mess around and go and have triplets eh? mess around and go and have triplets quite possibly uh, good luck with all that enjoy as much as you're saying no children what if you now get pregnant again it's triplets oh my god you leave two at the hospital Why? oh my god no I'd like I'm even in tears just thinking about it. like bro because as I'm sitting here right now I've only had 90 minutes of sleep since Friday so I'm just like I, I can't I can't women will be in the hospital with the babies they'll be like baby smile now 
But no, no, no. I, I really feel like this. Um, like I said at the beginning, I feel like weight loss is something that has been used to scam people mm-hmm. so many, so many times. Mm-hmm. I know people have done like crazy, crazy things. Um, I had a friend that it got so bad she literally was saying, "I just want to cut off my belly." I just, she actually was saying, to, and I'm just like, just, no, you know, I know down. someone. I know someone who has pretty much done everything as far, even as as bad as wiring her jaws shut. So that the only thing she could, you know, have is like stuff she could sip through a straw. So yeah, she did lose the weight, but as soon as the wires it's, came off, she, 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 she you know, she, she put it back on again. I, I know somebody that did that as well, and she one thing that she told me, as well as the fact that the minute you know they took it off, she just kept eating. Um, <laughs> she also said that she had horrible breath. Oh, because you can't brush your teeth. It's not like something you can just unclip. Mm. So your 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 jaw is wide shut, so you can't really brush your teeth properly. And what she could have done is use the straw to sip some mouthwash and then do. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need to you need to get in there and just you know. You just need to. So wait, that means you can't even kiss properly. No, no kissing and no oral sex. You know what else? You know what else is difficult? Um, when I had when I had my braces, uh-huh. when I had my braces, I couldn't really kiss properly, and then so you couldn't do other things either. Man, you could have uh, sloppy slap slap. <laughs> you you, but you have to be very careful. You have to be very careful before you go and show somebody's. <laughs> Any, ah, I'm just going to just keep quiet Because what I want to say is that Your husband is a very brave man <laughs> you, so you guys keep on saying I'm the dirty one But I present to you this woman here no, I'm innocent It's not about dirty It's not. Look, it's about practical stuff You see, I've never had braces before Bemi, Bemi, so, this is what you do You find, this is where we are You find the quickest way to link it to sex As in, as in we're here Or sex is here, Bemi will be like <laughs> Like this <laughs> I was just asking an innocent question, right, right, right. but it's okay. You know, thank you so much for tuning in to Off Air with Bimmy thank and you. Tools. Maybe <laughs> next episode we will try not to have any sexual references. Yeah. Anybody who makes reference to sex will buy pizza for everybody. All right, thanks so much for watching. Big big shout out to Bookings Africa thank you. Uh, for supporting us and be safe. Um, all of the above. Have safe sex. Oh. <laughs> I like chicken on my pizza. <laughs> and next, next time, I like next peppers. Time, next time. But but I was just looking out for our like our, our fans, like off a gang and stuff. Be safe. I was gonna say drive safe, eat safe, you know, and um have safe sex and everything. So two pizzas now. No, I said it's the same thing. You know what? Eat the pizza I bring for you next time. Eat it. Eat it.